disasters happen, we take care of them all. Call. Wearing the Jersey, presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration, the official restoration company of the Mountaineers. I grew up in Wilmington, Delaware. It's a it's a rough city. I was I was in public school up until my high school year when I transferred to a private school, but it was pretty rough. But I think focusing on football so much just kept me out of the way of all the stuff that was going on in the city and kept me out of the way with things that were going on with my friends. So I think football basically saved me. Watching college football as a kid, I didn't really, really get to watch until I was older, but I think West Virginia was the only school I could watch or I got excited about and was my favorite, just watching Pat White and those guys just ball out and how most of the time they were the underdogs, they weren't favored to win, and we were winning big games and beating big teams and doing it in a tough way, so I think that's why I came in. At first I had doubts of it when I was a crew, like, hey, they don't run the ball, so it's a passing league really, but then my coach called me, hey, you, you can catch the ball. I've, I've been doing seven on seven. I've played in about 107 on sevens, and you know, can't run the ball. So I've been catching the ball, and just the way Dana had used a lot of players and the way he used Tavon and stuff like that just wanted me to be in this offense, and I think it paid off pretty well, and I think it's a perfect fit for a running back like me. Smallwood's mentor his first season at WVU was Charles Sims. That one season that Sims played for West Virginia allowed Wendell to learn from a master. Just everything, just the way he worked and how he never complained and just being the horse that he was here and doing all the stuff Dana was asking him to go out, catch passes, run the ball and move around. And I think just watching him do that and being behind him doing it every time he does it made me, helped me get better at it and be more prepared for the season after him when he was gone. This season, it was expected that we would see more of the same from Smallwood, and we did until the Oklahoma game when he injured his ankle. I got it Oklahoma around the second, first quarter of the second series, and it was just a DN had fell on it and rolled it up, and it's, just, it's been pretty bad since. I think I, I could do much better just knowing I was a step behind and still doing as good as I was, and knowing that when I'm 100% or if I was 100%, Things would have been going much well faster for me. I would have been moving faster, running faster, and being a step ahead. You know, it's scary to think what Smallwood could have done at 100%. Since he injured his ankle, he still averaged 115 yards per game and six and a half yards per carry. That's why Dana Holgerson says Wendell is the most dynamic offensive player the Mountaineers have. I was pretty excited about it and it gave me a lot of confidence and just knowing the coaches believe in me, he believes in me how he does, so it just motivates me to want to be just be great and be a better player. This year is just keep getting better at each game and keep being a force in the game and having the offense lean on me and the guys have confidence with me having the ball in my hands.